Hi guys, this is a new Vengeance Producer Suite Avenger product video. And this video I would like to show you the FX section of Avenger and the routing possibilities you have within Avenger and some of the FX presets and so on and so on. Okay, let's start uh, with the overview you have here your FX area. You have eight insert slots for effects, which you can select here. This is called the FX bus one. And here is the destination routing of this bus. You can have up to four FX buses and all can have different target routings. Furthermore, you have a send bus uh, where you can add effects which are available as send effects then in your oscillators. And finally, you have one master FX bus which holds another eight effects. And this stands on the end of the signal chain. Okay, so uh, you already seen the video about the oscillator section and there I already showed a bit of the routing. But once again, uh, this is your oscillator and this is your routing. If you add another oscillator, you can have up to eight oscillators. Then you see the routing is initialized here for oscillator two. And as you can see in this init preset, we already have two FX types um, specified here as send effects, which is uh, the Arts Acoustic Reverb and our delay. If you now want to have this oscillator which plays a square, uh, if you want to have a bit of delay on this, you see at the moment it's dry because its destination is fx1 and fx1 is empty. But you can, like I said, add your send effects in every oscillator. So let's just add the delay. And you see, this is now the delay, which can be um, dry, wet mixed here. Of course, this also can be automated in your uh, modulation matrix. And um, if you add another FX type, let's add, for example, the chorus. You can either switch this to the chorus or add another, which is now the chorus. And of course, the reverb we have can also be added here. What's special about this uh, send bus is um, that you can route it, for example, to another FX bus. You can say, all these, you can also pre-listen. This is just a reverb. This is just a delay and just the chorus. All this effects from the send FX bus can be rooted into another FX. Let's, for example, choose FX2. So now all this is sent to FX2, where we can now apply special effects only on the wet signal part, which is coming from the send effects. For example, let's add a flanger here. As you now can hear, the flanger is only on the reverb tail, on the chorus and on the delay. Or maybe a bit crusher. Or even our Step sequencer can be used here as a transgate effect. We have this one here. As you can hear. Now the transgate is only applied to the wet part of the send effects. Well, okay. But like I said, this these are send effects. We also have 
the normal FX buses, which can hold up to eight insert FX in row. So let's remove the send FX here. Wait, let's remove it. So this is a dry saw. Now, let me just show our all our FX types here, for example. Yeah, we have the delay you already have seen. Um, which can do a lot of things. And what I really like is the ghost cue. Which band passes and feedback the signal. You have time shift between left and right, stereo width, and you also have patterns, which means these are the patterns with one, two, three, or two, two, three, or three, two, six, one, two, three. And of course, we also have stereo drifts. Let me erase it a bit. You see how left and right is drifting. Well, this is, uh, and we also have um, a nice function here. Of course, we can unsync it, and um, we have a nice function if you have, if you are working with much feedback. You can kill feedback here with one click. But we also can turn on MIDI kill, so every new MIDI note is killing the feedback. Wait. So. This means you can work with very high feedbacks, but don't have to worry that they will never stop. You can kill them with the MIDI. So, okay, this is the delay. We also have uh, Arts Acoustic Reverb, which you already know from Nexus and our previous products. It's a very, very nice reverb for synths and vocals and every kind of these things. And we also have the Dresh Reverb, which is uh, the exact opposite. It sounds terrible. But sometimes you want to have a terrible reverb. So, so then we um, have the reverb, which is an effect which uh, has been new programmed for the EFX2 bundle. Also great on uh, synth sounds and has it has uh, very much options here for modulations, early tail and uh, size. Etc. And then we have the dimension expander. This is great on dubstep wobbles and anything like that. It adds space to the sound without um, adding too much reverb. Uh, then we have our impulse, which is great for Hollywood stuff. And we have many, many impulse responses here. And this is uh, every time you can use this if you re need real real spaces, real reverb spaces or some special effects reverbs, which can only be made with an impulse response. Then we have the gated reverb, which is just a short verb, which is uh, always synced to this uh, note values here. And then we have six brand new effects from Arts Acoustic which are analog emulations of famous effects, vintage effects, and they sound great. This is the chorus. You need no super saw anymore if you have used this. This sounds very spacey, fat, and yeah, and then we have the Vintage Flanger, which is a really uh, nice flanger. Also, 
comes with a lot of presets here. Then we have the phaser, which is also very... Very nice. And the next is an ensemble effect. And the next is another ensemble effect. Create on pads and uh, things that should sound like uh, the old string machines. And next is a rotary simulator. This one is great for organs. Now I have a sawtooth, but should work too. It's a really nice drive. Then we have our classic flanger. Sounds a lot different to the other flanger. And our chorus. And our phaser. Which is a bit softer and a bit more in the background than the arts acoustic phaser. And then the multi-mod, which is a kind of auto panner and FM and ring mod uh, tool. Uh, we can do nasty FM. FM stuff here. And then you have, of course, the rate reducer. And bit crusher, and we also added a jitter module. Let's check this on the sine wave. The jitters uh, bring movement into the static rate reduction effect. So it's super noisy then. Much more noisy than just the rate. And then we have our distortion. Uh, let me switch back to the sawtooth. Of course, yeah. of course we have a lot of effect types here again. And uh, we have the clip distortion here with the symmetry. This is uh, actually great for creating kicks. The digital mode, was, which is a classic clip distortion, but works different than the dedicated clip distortion. And Logic is uh, even more like the classic Logic clip distortion, which all the hard stylers still use for creating their kicks. So what else do we have? The Fuzzbox, which is actually a distortion module with two equalizers in front of it. This one is really, really nasty. And the next is uh, multiband distortion. You can distort three bands. And then we have the vinylizer, which someone may know from our EFX bundle too. This is great for vinyl some table effects. Yeah, and uh, maybe even on e pianos or something like this for hip hop sounds and so on. And then we have the wave shaper which basically basically lets you create your own distortion curve. And you can add by double click more 
points here and smooth them. What is next are the dynamic effects, which uh, usually are used for mastering. So let us apply them on the master FX bus here. And first is our compressor. But you can better hear it on a drum loop. So let's open a drum loop. And let's mute the the oscillator sawtooth. Now, without compressor, with compressor. Again, you have many presets to choose from. And next is our equalizer. You can turn the mouse reel to specify, specify the width. And you have four bands. And if this is too tiny for you, we also have the possibility to open the equalizer in the big window here. And then you also can access the types of the bands. So for example, we have a high pass here. Even with resonance. Or we have our shelving filters, of course. This is the high shelf. And with the mouse wheel, you can specify the steepness. Of course, here are many presets again. Next is the filter, which is exactly the same filter, the complete filter module, which I already showed in the filter section. We have these filters here once more as an effect type. So you also have the possibility to use the vowel filters on a drum loop, for example, or our Nexus filter, the trash, and so on. Of course, these can be automated. Everything, every single element here can be automated with anything. For example, let me route this to an LFO. As you see, you can tempo sync it with an So, like all, like I showed in the uh, in the mod matrix video, you can root anything with everything, and that's quite a lot of fun, especially in the FX types. So let's move on to our limiter. It clips brick wall at zero dB. And what's new is the multiband limiter which really boosts the maximum out of your signal. Yeah, great for dubstep screaming sounds, which should be louder than anything else. So we also have the mini chain. This would be of an effect which I can show you on the sawtooth better here. So let's activate the sawtooth again. Our sawtooth is running tr through FX1. So I opened the mini chain in FX1. The mini chain is a sidechain simulation. And what's unique about this is um, you can trigger it with various sources. At the moment, the first note is the trigger, but which is much cooler is to choose the sequencer bass drum as a trigger. So every time the bass drum here is playing in the sequencer, the sawtooth will be ducked. And yeah, 
the time scale here and the mix factor. So you can do really good sidechain simulation here in Avenger. And the next is the mini stop. Let me demonstrate this on the Sawtooth 2. This is a classic tape stop effect we implemented here in Avenger. And, uh, well, maybe it's cooler to do it on the master effect here. Not, not the mini chain, I want the mini stop. So, yeah, you can basically um, stop the tape, like you, or, or stop the record on a uh, turntable. Okay, let's move on. We have the stereo metrics, which let you do some Oh, I'm on the FX1. Stop, I wanted to go on the master FX. So we can do a stereo manipulation here, for example, boost the stereo part and kill the mono part of the signal, or vice versa. Now it's only mono. Then finally we have the trans kit, which I already showed previously. Okay, so you see there are a lot, a lot of effects and presets for those effects and you have really, really much possibilities here when it comes to routing them. And of course you can route the FX1 into FX2 and the FX2 into FX3 and maybe FX3 into FX4 and then FX4 into the master effects, which basically means you have 8, 16, 24, 20. Uh, you have four times eight effects plus eight master effects. These are 40 effects in a row. And I think, well, that's more than you will ever need for a preset. But it's possible. If you like, you can do it. And of course, you already uh, always can quickly save your presets here. They are stored then in your library. And don't forget, you can automate anything here with your sources like LFO, mod envelope and so on. Okay, I think uh, that's all for the effect video. See you in the next video. Bye.